Briefly, Mr. Speaker, ladies and gentlemen of the House, I know it's Friday, and, and uh, so I'll be brief, but uh, I noted the gentlelady's comments about uh, uh, working in a bipartisan manner uh, down here in Richmond, and I commend her for that. Uh, but I did notice later tonight that there's going to be some very partisan activity going on here in the Capitol when the Democratic Party of Virginia has their annual Jefferson Jackson fundraiser here in Richmond down the hall. <laughs> and I noticed in the Washington Post today that their keynote speaker is going to be Maryland Governor O'Malley. And the headline is, O'Malley to accuse GOP of fiscal irresponsibility in Richmond's speech. So I found it interesting that the governor of Maryland was going to come down here and talk to Virginia about fiscal responsibility in the middle of our legislative session. Then I noticed an article in the Washington Examiner. The headline of that article is, Maryland's debt per resident twice Virginia's. And I'll quote, Mr. Speaker, I'll quote from the article, Maryland's soaring pension deficits are racking up $3,000 in debt for every taxpayer in the state, while their Virginia neighbors are paying only $1,300, according to a report from Moody's. Maryland taxpayers also owe nearly twice as much as Virginians in in-state issued bonds or long-term debt, as the report found. So I I found it interesting that the governor of Maryland was going to come down to Virginia to lecture Virginia about fiscal responsibility. Um, I hope that uh, he may take a lesson or two from Virginia as well, but uh, I don't know how many of my colleagues will be uh, uh, attending that dinner tonight, but for me, I'm not that interested in tomorrow night, sorry, uh, but uh, I will not be all that anxious to hear from Governor O'Malley about his recipes for uh, economic success. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.